what, what, what do you guys read here? The hashtag dare to dream. Good. So, so there were people who didn't read the hashtag. So let's do that again. Hashtag dare to dream. Okay. Now, what, what stands out to you in that, in this sentence here? It's in bold. It's in bold. Okay. What else? Dare to dream. Yeah. You can dream, but you yeah. Dare to dream. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a, like a challenge. Like no, I, I see what you, I see what you're saying, and that's that's absolutely right. Yes, sir. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. Yes. Yeah, hashtag. So we so we know it's it's got something to do with social media, or at least social media has a role. Um, any anything else? One other thing that I really want you guys to I really want you to point out. Well done. Okay, why do you think that is? Now, take a moment to think. Because I, like I, like, I don't like to be super obvious about things. So, yes. There's two dares and two dreams. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. You're on the right path. You're on the right path. I don't know if this is on the right path, but isn't there white and black as in like your skin color? And then like mixed race. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Okay, so you think it has something to do with identity? Yeah. Okay, okay. In a way. It, uh, it, obviously, it does in some way, but the connection is, isn't as strong. There's, there's something else. Um, yes? Um, I think that to dream means, like the, num the number two means, hmm. like, um, you, you're going you're gonna to dream soon. Like. So okay. you, to, to dream, mm -hmm. so you can dream, mm -hmm. but you can also do something, so yeah, Okay, to okay, okay. Fascinating. All right, I'll give, I'll give it away, because you guys are doing a great job, and I don't want, to, I don't want your brain to explode. Um, so my original campaign was hashtag get deal to Cambridge, and I used the two as, the, as in the number, not the, not the, um, not the word. And I did that intentionally. And that was because my ambition has always been to duplicate success, right? So and there, there, there are two ways in which you can interpret it. So my intention was never just to get to Cambridge and then leave my community behind. My ambition has always been to help others get to Cambridge or get to Oxford, get to Yale, Yale get to... Harvard, get to... Haggiston. Where? Haggiston. What's that? Haggiston. 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 It's the secondary school. Oh, it's the secondary school. Okay. <laughs> is that a good secondary school? I mean, is it? Okay, fair okay. enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. So, so, so that's, why it's, it's called poetic license, right? So literally or technically it is incorrect to have a sentence like that. But that's the thing about hashtags. They don't have to be... They don't have to be grammatically correct. They just have to, they have to convey a message. Um, so, the, so, so the dare to dream hashtag, um, dreaming, right? Who comes to mind when the word dream in this context? I mean, I am a young black man. So who do you think I take inspiration from? And why do you think I'm using the word dream? George Floyd, maybe? George Floyd, yes. But who specifically spoke about... <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> Stephen, Stephen Lawrence? Stephen Lawrence, yes. But yes, he's definitely part of my story. He is. But there's someone who spoke about... <laughs> of course you know it. Okay, I'm going to give you a chance. Stephen Lawrence's mother? Baroness Lawrence, yes, absolutely. But there's someone even more, even more connected to that word. Michael Jordan. <laughs> as far as I know, not. Yeah, I forgot his You're you're definitely in the right territory, Barack Obama. Uh, you definitely took inspiration from this said individual. Yeah. Batman. <laughs> no, not Batman. Uh, not Batman. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's Martin Luther King. MLK. 
So his I have a dream speech, yeah? So I you know, I watched that as a as a young as a young lad. Um and it's a very powerful speech and if you haven't watched that I highly recommend it. I spent a lot of time dissecting that, that, that speech because he says a lot of things. One of the things that he says is um that a lot of people miss is we should be judged by the content of our character, not by the colour of our skin. Now, what that necessarily implies is that no matter what colour of your skin, whether you're black, white, you should be judged based on the content of your character. And that works both ways. So I don't want to be treated like I'm a criminal just because I'm black. In the same way, I don't expect my, my white friends to be treated as racist just because they're white. I have lots of wonderful friends who identify as white. And so there is a problem in our current society where there's a double standard sometimes. And so this hashtag dare to dream is about how we, how we achieve racial harmony. So how, how do we bring people together rather than focus on the things that separate us? Um, and then the two, as I said, is about duplicating success. So I have been able to achieve my dream. There's still more that I want to achieve, but this was a really important pivotal step in, in achieving the things which I hope to achieve. And I want you guys to also achieve uh, the same. You know, I, I want you also to be able to uh, feel as though your dream, which you've dared to have, has also come into fruition. Okay, now let's get into the specifics because we don't have too much time. All right, so there's, these are the two organizations that I have co-founded. So this is my ed tech startup. EdTech means education technology. Elevation Foundation is a charity that I've co-founded alongside my, alongside two wonderful angels, um, Yanni and Julia. They donated a substantial amount last year and we got together and decided that we were gonna build this charity in order to help others uh, in similar situations. So, is that a spelling error? Where? No, so the spinning top. Ah, uh, there, yeah, there's the spinning top. So I'm very sensitive to any spelling errors because, like, people pay me to be able to spell correctly. Um, all right, so these are, so, so it's a coaching experience. It's a pro bono. Pro bono means for the public good, which essentially means free. It's free, free, free of charge because um, some people don't have the, 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 the means, and so, but they still need to be served. So it's a pro bono coaching experience. I've done, a lo I've done lots of coaching, um, especially in the last year. And by coaching, I mean um, helping people learn the concepts that they need in order to achieve their goals. So I've helped startups, I've helped, I've helped individuals with their own crowdfunding projects. I've helped, um, I've helped other lawyers uh, with their contracts. Um, I've helped all kinds of people. Now I wanna help you guys because you, you mean a lot to me. And so the 12, Topics that we're going to go through. Leadership, accelerated learning, critical and creative thinking, entrepreneurship, I should be reading it here, advocacy, networking like a pro. I mean, a lot of these won't, well, some of these may not be applicable to you right, right now, but still be aware of it. Because when it does come to, when, when it does become relevant, it'll be great for you to have a head start. Securing internships, securing scholarships, applying to Oxbridge, mindful living, crowdfunding, financial literacy. Now, the reason why I chose these topics, because there are so many other topics that we could cover, is because I believe that if you can get these right, these 12, these 12 topics right in the next three months, so October, November, December, then your future is going to be just so much, so much brighter. Right? That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to light a flame um, and, and, and help you achieve your wildest dreams because that's what everyone that's supported me, that's what they've helped me do. Okay, so um, those are the topics. But I'm telling you, you're going to be very excited by, by all of this. I, I, I assure you that this, securing all of these individuals, all of these organizations, was hard work. I've, I have, I'm affiliated with all of them. Yeah, so Omnispace is obviously me. Elevation is me and two and oh, well, me and, and my team. Um, I co found well, I founded it and then found a co founder. Um, Elevation co founded. Wintrade, I just joined their advisory board. But I've I've been I've been inspired by what they do. They help women entrepreneurs. The Amos Bursary is just uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a community of young black men and women who are just so ambitious and driven and they've been, uh, they've been, they've supported me for so long, over five years. Uh, migrant leaders, similar, you know, community of individuals who identify as first or second 
generation migrants who are just driven and want to make a difference. This I can't reveal, the new black. Woo, but, ah, can't wait. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good. Alerta Foundation, very similar to these two organizations. Um, I did a leadership program with them in 2017. Um, and again, it's just all about, you know, helping young black people. But now I think it's more open to other races. Um, just be the best leaders they can. The Royal Society of Arts, it's a lovely place. I work there um, most, most days. Um, and I, uh, I'm excited to do for, for you guys to, yeah, I can't reveal just yet, but uh, you, you'll love it. The Conduit, I recently joined as an impact champion. It's another really lovely place in Convent Garden. Um, my team will be doing lots of work there when we're in London. Um, I'll show you the pictures and, and you'll see what I mean. And then, and then we have other supporters, the London Young Lawyers Group and Law Careers Net, which are just wonderful, just wonderful organizations that, are, that understood the mission. When I told them this is what I'm gonna do, they were like, yep, they'll sign us up. And you need people like that, you need organizations like that. And there are other organizations that are, because the thing is, they, 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 there are so many organizations that care about social impact, but they have multiple things going on already. So this list is probably going to get longer, but I mean, it's, it's long enough as it is. All right, so what is this all about? So um, how old are you guys? 10. So you can, you can, you can ignore, well, unless you're with your parents, <laughs> unless you're, you're with your parents or guardian, then, then, okay, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna tell you who these people are because they are just amazing. So I have spent a long time, a long time assembling a, just a, a, a whole list of people who, who will inspire me. And I can't reveal who all of them are, I, as in I can't spend, we don't have much time, I can't spend a long time introducing each of them. But what, what we're gonna do, what we're doing is, we're doing fireside chats. So fireside chats, I chose that name because I, I like to have informal conversations with people. There's a place for interrogating someone and being like, you know, being a, like a proper lawyer. Um, but then there's a place for, you know, just having a nice conversation and just, you know, learning that way. So these are all exception. And when I say exception, I don't mean like, uh, they paid me to say it. And so, no, these are people who I was begging to have these fireside chats with because they are just absolutely just brilliant people. Um, and um, over the next few days, you're going to find out just how brilliant they are. A lot of them are Cambridge educated. A lot of them are not. And, uh, you know, we have an Oxford grad here, a best-selling author. Her name is Angela Sayini. She's someone that I have just dreamt of um, having a talk with. And, she, you know, she's been just so... So I first actually met her in person when I was at UCL. I asked a question. She liked the question, and so we connected. Um, but she's a very busy woman. So, yeah, the, you know, just, it's just amazing that she's going to make the time for us. Um, OK, I'm going to move on. I want to show you what the rewards and perks are. And these are rewards that you guys, you guys and girls are going to be able to take advantage of. So anyone recognize this? Yeah. Yes. What's, what's, uh, <laughs> what do you see in the picture? The, the what? Oh, nice. Okay, so trip to the Palace of Westminster. This has been confirmed. This isn't me like pretending the thing has happened before it's happened. Uh, Lord Michael Hastings, absolute, he's an angel. And so he's gonna, he's organized this for us. Uh, anyone recognize this building? No. Oxford no. University. As much as I don't like Oxford, I, I respect them. And they, it's a great university. Uh, so we've got a trip, a trip to the uh, Oxford University. Uh, we've also got a trip to Cambridge, obviously, because of me. Um, and then we also have a trip to, anyone recognize it? That's going to change. This is UCL. This is University College London. This is my first university. It's a brilliant university. In fact, as you know, it was LSE, isn't it? I was, was going to say that uh, UCL, in terms of law, ranks higher than... Oxford, but I can't remember now. It's, it, they're all great universities. And uh, the reason why, I'll tell you why I'm, I'm so happy about all of this. Um, this is Imperial, another wonderful university. Okay, 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 cool. So do you guys recognize the economists? Do you guys, 
Yeah. Have you ever seen the Economist logo? Yeah, I've seen the logo. You, you've seen, okay, you've seen the logo. Yeah. What can you tell us about it, the, the, the Economist? It's just, I didn't really see a lot of it, I've just, just seen the logo. Mm. Really yeah. Okay, so I started reading the Economist properly uh, when I was about 14. And you can sign up for a, a free copy at your local library. The reason why I'm so excited about this is that you are you're come to understand that um, that The Economist and organizations, news outlets like The Economist, are just so important for our modern democracy. Because politicians lie, lawyers, as, as, as much as I hate to admit it, can also do nonsense. <laughs> Journalists help keep everyone accountable. And so this dashing young fellow, John Trudeau, he, uh, he started mentoring me two years ago, and he saw just how much you know, attention the, uh, my campaign was getting, and he saw that you know, at some point it was quite hard for me. And so he, you know, he, he gave me the opportunity to come to the office and have a conversation. And he was one of those people who just really was just so supportive and still is. So courtesy of him, we're going to have a trip to The Economist. And The Economist is so well written. And these illustrations are just, they're like world renowned just because of how powerful, how, how um, skillful the, the illustrators are in showing and be able to represent these complex social economic problems in a picture. Um, so yeah, The Economist, very cool. And then there are a few other things which, which I'm looking forward to as well. The Conduit, I told you that I'm now a, an impact champion at The Conduit. And I thought I'd show you the picture. So I mean, look at me in this white outfit. Um, I did my best that day to, to, look, to look good, to look, uh, to look smart. I look like I'm going to play cricket. That's what people kept telling me. I'm going to play cricket. So, yeah, I might decide I want to play cricket. Who knows? Um, the Conduit is a wonderful place. A lot of the fireside chats that we plan to have is going to be here. In fact, my first one is going to be Tuesday next week. Um, again, if you have Instagram, which you shouldn't, because um, I think the lower limit is 13. So ask your, ask your parents or guardian or older sibling. Um, but you can listen to the first one for the first fireside chat, which will be at The Conduit. It's a wonderful place because it's all about how we, it's a place where a lot of change makers like me, we meet, we, we, we brainstorm, we, we, we connect, we share ideas, um, we help each other, you know. So it's, it's a wonderful place. And, and I, I'm happy that I'm able to organize something with you. Now this lady here, her name is Dr. Yvonne, and she is, she is um, the president and founder of Wintray Global. Wintray Global is all about empowering women entrepreneurs. And as well as being a lawyer and barrister, or to be, um, I'm also an entrepreneur. I've, I've started my own ed tech startup. Being a part of the advisory board of Wintrade Global, and this is very recent, is a powerful thing for me because I want to support as many women um, as I can. My mum is a woman who, who has fought to for now to secure me, to, uh, secure a better future for me. So I want to be able to help other women who are doing the same things for their sons, for, the, for their daughters. Um, so a private Q&A with Dr. Yvonne is going to be really powerful, really cool stuff. Um, and then a roundtable discussion also, you know, this is more so, because this, this, this program won't only be a, open to you guys. I mean, you guys are definitely guaranteed spots, but it will be open to people across the country. I'm still trying to decide whether I want to cap it uh, maybe a hundred, but being me, I always like to just give, give, give. I might just see what happens, and then we'll see. But th this would be more. This reward is more so for for the older people who have startups or wanna wanna set something up. And then there's the outstanding leadership award. Now, one of the, one of the things I really want you guys to develop is the ability to to speak in public, because I I know it's a hard skill uh, for some of, for some of us. Um, for lots of us, for most of us, um, but it's one of those skills where once you get it, once you master it, it will allow you to to do so much. Like you know, a lot of the opportunities that I've secured is just because I impressed someone, because I was able to ask them an, an interesting question, and so I want you, I want you all to have that, right? So that you know you can secure the same opportunities. Um, and then there's the Royal, uh, what is this, Kensington Palace. It's going to be an award ceremony. Um, 
more win trade, wonderful win trade gifts. Um, 16 plus doesn't apply to you. 18 plus doesn't apply to you. Now, this also doesn't apply to you. Um, but if you know anyone in your family, in your friendship groups, slightly older, um, so 13 or above, and you believe that they would benefit from this coaching experience, again, it's free of charge, and I'm not the type of person who's going to be like, oh, at the end of the thing, no, nope, free of charge, I'm a lawyer. What I say, what my, my word, take me at my word. Um, and so I, it's going to be the first term, of, it's going to be term one of my Cambridge, of my final year at Cambridge. I decided I was going to do it in three months because term one is, it's hard, but it's not the hardest term, and I can afford to give more of my time. Term two and term three, I'm like knee deep in, in revision. So I say that because I want, I want to make them, I, I want this three months to be the best three months of your life, of all of your lives. And, and so, and, and anyone that you believe would benefit from this. I mean, who has, has older siblings? Okay, most of you. Okay, cool. So hopefully, you know, you'll feel comfortable sharing this opportunity with them. Um, and they can see, you know, they can, they can see my story for, for themselves. Um, I'm on social media. Instagram is currently the, the, the social media channel that I'm using the most. But to be eligible, you just need to do this stuff. And none of this takes, it will take, if you, yeah, I mean, it would take less than, I mean, okay, ignore that. But this would take less than five minutes. And the reason why I'm doing this is one, yeah, I'm trying to grow my brand. I'm, I'm not going to be shy about that. But two, I believe that if you want something, you need to give something. Give and you shall receive, right? So this notion that everything should just be dumped and, you know, should, if it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I know you guys don't think like that, right? Um, so, and also we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. I mentioned the new black. Again, I can't actually disclose much, but YouTube is going to be, it's going to be very cool. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. Of course, of course. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Is this for me? Oh, amazing. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Bro. I thought the session was absolutely incredible. I felt as though the kids really understood my story and they were asking really engaging and critical questions. Um, and I'm so looking forward to working with them um, for the longest time. I, I promised them that I'd be a part of their journey for as long as I'm alive and that is a promise that I, I intend to uphold. Being in a class named after me and my family is so humbling. I don't do this for accolades. I've been committed to being a lawyer, to being uh, an advocate for social change long before you know, the news caught wind of what I was doing. And so getting this recognition is, of course, um, it's precious um, and, I, and I want to use it, I want to leverage it as best as I can to, to give back and to empower others. The key message I have for the children here at London Fields Primary and for anyone else who's watching is, you know, you're going to face so many hurdles in life. You know, I'm doing my best to remove those hurdles by offering scholarships and mentorship and paid internships. But even then, um, you're going to face obstacles. That's just a part of the human condition. Um, but you, you can't lose hope because there are so many people whom you can confide in. There are so many people who have had similar struggles and overcame. So. There's absolutely no reason to why you can't be, um, you can't be just as successful.